Few professional athletes stay loyal to one team throughout their whole careers. These guys choose to stay where they are instead of chasing a championship with another club. You have to respect that. But over the years, it's been common for elite athletes to chase championships. They leave their team and go to a place that gives them the best chance of winning, and it's paid off for some of them. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we present 10 players that needed a change of scenery to win a championship. And a huge shout out and thank you to Jonathan Hernandez for suggesting this list. You know what Jonathan did? He gave us his idea down below in the comments section like you should do right now. And you never know, we might give you a shout out and Alex the writer will write about your incredible idea. Number 10, Darrell Rivas. Rivas was the NFL's best shutdown corner during his first tenure with the New York Jets. The only problem was they were pretty bad for the most part. Rivas hated the New England Patriots. He called head coach Bill Belichick a jerk. But then he signed a one-year deal with them in 2014. Why? To chase a championship. Who cares if he hated Belichick? And it worked. Rivas was instrumental in the Patriots' secondary. He helped Tom Brady win his fourth Super Bowl championship. Fittingly enough, Rivas went back to the Jets following the Super Bowl victory. Number 9, Kevin Garnett. KG did all he could to lead the Minnesota Timberwolves to a championship, but it wasn't meant to be. The team shipped him up to Boston, ayo, so he could chase a title. Slick shooter Ray Allen also joined the Celtics to form a super team with Garnett and Paul Pierce. Garnett and the Celtics beat the LA Lakers in the 2008 NBA Finals. Afterwards, KG infamously screamed, anything's possible during the celebration. Chills, it was epic. He deserved that title. He just had to find a new team to help him win it. Number 8. Dominic Hasek Hasek was arguably the most dominant and greatest goalie of his era. He single-handedly carried the Buffalo Sabres to greatness throughout the 90s. But once Buffalo realized they weren't capable of winning a championship, they repaid Hasek for his hard work. They sent him to the powerhouse Detroit Red Wings in 2001. Hasek won a career-best 41 games with Detroit in 2001, too. He had a performance for the ages in the 2002 playoffs as well. Hasek led Detroit to his third Stanley Cup title since 1997. He'd win one more title with them in 2008 before retiring. He can thank Buffalo for choosing to trade him to the right place at the right time. Number 7. Roger Clemens the Rocket was one of the greatest pitchers in MLB history. Those 354 wins and 7 Cy Young awards are no joke, you know. Clemens spent 12 years with the Boston Red Sox. Then he spurned them to join the Toronto Blue Jays. Then he requested a trade and went to the Evil Empire, aka the New York Yankees, in 1999. And it worked out well for him. Clemens and the Yankees won the 1999 and 2000 World Series championships. Hey, keep betraying your team and you'll land on a championship squad eventually. Well done, Rocket. Number 6. Kevin Durant Yes, Mr. Durant. Spend all those years with the Oklahoma City Thunder, the team that made you a legend, nearly lead your team to an NBA Finals appearance in 2016. But ooh, your Thunder barely lost to the 73-win Golden State Warriors in the Conference Finals. Okay, yeah. Go join the Warriors and make the 2017 NBA season one of the most boring ever. Congrats on your championship. Not like it was the slightest bit difficult or anything, though. And time out! Let us know your answers to this question down below in the comment section. What other players went to a different team to win a championship? And hey, while you're down there, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet to get more cool videos every single day, feel free to do that. And if you haven't liked the video yet and you do like the video or you think you might like the rest of the video, feel free to like it down there too. And back to the video. Number 5. Alex Rodriguez A-Rod is probably the most hated baseball player of all time, but he's not to blame for going to the New York Yankees. It was the Texas Rangers who gave him a $252 million contract then decided they didn't want to pay it. So yeah, baseball's most hated player joined America's most hated sports team in 2004. It worked out well. A-Rod won his only World Series ring with the Yankees in 2009. Number 4. Deion Sanders Prime time was the best cornerback of the 90s without question. The Atlanta Falcons weren't able to win much with Sanders, though. After five seasons in Atlanta, Deion decided to join the San Francisco 49ers in the 1994 season. It worked out just fine. Sanders led the 49ers to their fifth Super Bowl championship in franchise history. Then he joined the Dallas Cowboys a year later and won the Super Bowl with them. Talk about a double whammy for prime time. Number 3. Ray Bork The highest scoring defenseman in NHL history spent two decades with the Boston Bruins. Bork was the face of the Bees franchise and turned them into a consistent playoff contender. Boston did reach the Stanley Cup Finals in both 1988 and 90, but they were victims of the Edmonton Oilers dynasty. As the Bruins entered the new millennium mired in mediocrity, Bork was traded to the Colorado Avalanche in 2000. Bork and the Avalanche won the Stanley Cup in 2001. In an iconic moment, Captain Joe Sackick passed the cup right over to Bork, and just like that, he was a Stanley Cup champion. Bork would retire after finally capturing a championship ring. Number 2. Shaquille O'Neal Shaq turned the Orlando Magic into one of the NBA's best teams in the mid-90s in each of his four years there. O'Neal posted a double-digit average. The Magic reached the NBA Finals in 1995 but lost to the Houston Rockets. Shaq then joined the LA Lakers on a seven-year deal worth $121 million. Long story short, 
three NBA championships, three NBA Finals MVPs. And for good measure, he won his fourth ring with the Miami Heat, two years after requesting a trade from L.A. Shaq was always about timing. And number one, LeBron James. LeBron was a one-man machine during his first seven years with the Cleveland Cavaliers, but he didn't have a single superstar as a sidekick. He only reached the NBA Finals once in his first stint with the Cavs, and it wasn't pretty. LeBron had enough of doing it all on his own. Infamously, he joined the Miami Heat super team that already rounded up Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. And behold, LeBron won the 2012 and 2013 NBA championships with Miami. As it turned out, he was right. He just had to find a new team with two more superstars to win a championship. Duh. What other players went to a different team to win a championship? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, then feel free to give us a like down below as well. And if you're not subscribed, feel free to do that right now too. Until next time, tune in for more cool videos every single day.